Hi everybody and welcome to Devotions at the beginning of this week. Uh, and I hope all is going well with you. I would like to read you a little passage from the beginning of Peter's second letter, which I always find inspiring and encouraging. He says, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Saviour Christ have received a faith as precious as ours, grace and peace be yours. He says, His divine power has given us everything that we need for life and for godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. And through these, He has given us His very great and precious promises so that through them you may share in the divine nature there's just so much, so much richness in that passage. We want to live as Christians, and Peter here talks about these incredible resources that we have. He speaks about the faith that has been given to us by God. He speaks about the divine power that is imparted to us in verse 3. He talks about our knowledge of him and our relationship with him. And then he says there are promises that God has made that we will share in his very nature. I mean, these are wonderful things. What does it mean to share in the nature of God? And I just want to mention four things briefly um, on this day. And the first one is we have an association with God. We have a relationship with him. We have an intimate knowledge of him. And from that gift of our association with him, comes the whole inspiration for our Christian lives. Secondly, our attitudes will change because in our attitudes, we now live by faith in God and we want to obey his way of love and his way of purity and his way of righteousness. And so our focus is to be pleasing to God in the way that we live. The third thing is our ability. In our own weakness, we just don't have the strength to be able to do the things that God calls us to do, to love those who perhaps are hurtful towards us, to be able to overcome weaknesses and the temptations that face us, and so on. But here we are promised the power of God to be able to do what we cannot do in our own strength. And the last thing, is our action. We are called to live practically in love and to show the justice of God, the righteousness of God, in the way that we deal with the people in our family, in the, pay, in the way we deal with it in our community, in our church, our workplace, and so on. That the way we treat people will be in keeping with God's will. So it's our association with God, our attitude needs to be in line. It's our ability, our power to do what God wants us to do, and it's putting it into action. This is a great call, and we have great help and resources from God. May this week be blessed in every way for you. Bye for now.